Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to the correct views. Sam I.B. reporting for the Media Speaks. It's time. It is time for the much revered Dunce Camp of the Month Award. It is, in fact, the end of July, 7 31, 2013, 5 33 in the morning. Unless somebody does something really stupid in the less than a day that remains, and it may just happen, it may even be me, the month is over. And this is the Dunce Cap of the Month Award winner. If you're reading the screen, for those of you on the low def, you probably cannot. For those of you on the high def, if it posts and YouTube's been jerking me around with it, then you'll be able to read this ahead of time. I want to go over the runner-ups, however. Um, it was a hard month. There was a lot of stupidity going around this month. Here are the people that almost won. Paul Joseph Watson, InfoWars. Police notify family of son's homicide, then shoot the pet dog. Police in Harico County, Virginia, who almost got the award, visited a family's home to impart the tragic news that their son had been killed in a homicide and then proceeded to shoot the family's pet dog tagger. 33-year-old Ricky Elberg was robbed of $15 and shot to death just eight blocks from his house. When police arrived at the family home to tell them Elberg's body had been found near an alley, the Elberg family pit bull tagger ran towards one of the officers from the backyard and was almost immediately shot dead. They told me that my brother was dead and I'd come out to cry on the porch and Tagger must have heard them. He ran out into the front yard and the officer shot him dead. I let Christelle pick out of these stories what was the dumbest and she said that ranked really high. So did this one right here. The reason it didn't get it is I was questioning it because it, because it happened in England. And uh, I'm going to let you in on something. Next year, if I keep if you guys keep donating, because it costs me a lot of money to send these hats, believe it or not, it could be like fifty bucks. Um, you keep funding me to send these hats, and next year I'll open it up to international, because it happened uh, it happened in Europe. The other thing is, she mentioned that we don't know what the existing laws are, so maybe this kind of stupidity is commonplace. But here we go. A couple whose 30,000 euro, that is dollars for you Kesha fans, caravan was stolen and had been told that a traveler family was now living in it. They could not be removed because it would breach their human rights. Kathleen McLeland and her partner Michael Curry spent their life savings on it. They still have to pay 250 euros a month on this. But because the family that's in it claimed that they bought it, the police will not take the mobile home from them. It's like a traveling camper. They won't take it from them. And the family that got it stolen has to sue the family that stole it to get it back. Now, I don't think they should be hauled away for receiving stolen property, but they, don't you think that the, the police should have the ability to give the, van, the, the uh, caravan back? You, 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 worst police officers ever in England are very lucky that you are in England because you are disqualified this year. That brings us to the last of the runner-ups. Dead charged after tow truck driver towed car with kids inside. I am not mad at the dad. I didn't know whether to send the dunce cap to the Houston Police Department or the bonehead uh, towing agency. Neighbors said Victor Ruiz parked his car in a no-parking zone, and he briefly went to his apartment with grocery Thursday and left his two young daughters in the car. According to neighbors, a tow truck driver quickly latched onto the family's car and took off. Court documents show that the truck driver made the discovery and stopped about two miles away. They're trying to charge the father with this. Uh, one of his neighbors said that we were standing outside watching his kids. He did not leave his kids behind. They towed his kids away, and now Houston's trying to nail him. Look it up. It's on uh, uh, click2houston.com. Dad charged with tow truck driver. Um, almost got it, but no. No. The Dunce Camp of the Month Award goes to... As those of you with high def already saw, 
the Lakewood City. I'm sitting at the Lakewood City Council. Ohio City bans fireworks, drinks, grills, and enacts mandatory bag searches on the 4th of July. <coughs> Anthony Gucciardi, Infowars.com, dated July 3rd. I knew when I saw it, I knew what group of boneheaded idiots were going to get the Dunce Cap of the Month award. And lo and behold, even with the runners-ups that I gave you, this is the stupidest most asinine, boneheaded thing we have found for the month of July. So I'm going to read you what this says. Uh, for those of you on low def, I, I don't have any way to call graphics up for you. For those of you on high def, you should be able to see this fine. The city of Lakewood, Ohio, again, date of July 3rd, will be celebrating July 4th with mandatory bag searches and a ban on all 4th of July related fun, including fireworks, drinks, grills, pets, sports, and just about everything else. Um, it says, as you can see from the special park rules to be in effect at Lakewood, Ohio on July 4th, the article posted a week ago on the Lakewood Observer website, all of the same inane regulations are listed clearly as seen. The website reads, and I go to the chamber, the chamber is like the only really cool electro club within like a million miles of where I live. So I know the area well. Um, the people there are much smarter than their city council. This is not an attack on Lakewood, but it is an attack on their leaders. The following rules will be in effect at Lakewood on July 4th, 2013. All generators, propane and gas fueled grills will be prohibited. That's because they're sure that someone's going to use their propane grill as a bomb and nobody that's around them will do anything to stop them. All tents and shelters will be prohibited. Police will be conducting searches of bags and coolers for reasons of public safety. Fourth Amendment be damned. No alcoholic beverages are permitted at any time throughout the year. No personal fireworks. This includes novelty fireworks like sparklers. So even things that are illegal like sparkler or that are legal like sparklers cannot be used. Um, you cannot trust your citizens to have a beer on the 4th of July without starting a fight, obviously. Uh, no dogs or pets of any kind will be permitted in the park on the 4th of July. That's, that's got to be important. The skate park, because you know that most terrorists are in fact thrashers. The skate park, tennis courts, basketball courts, and kids' cove playland, because those kids in that cove playland, they can go off at any moment will be closed at 7 p.m. So, go, again, go to InfoWars for the rest of the article. They have won the Dunce Camp of the Month Award, so here we go. Uh, it does say a political satire purposes only. So if they try to erase this and they say that there's little bombs and fireworks on it, I was a terrorist, you know better. This is my video proof. It is parody and a satire. You are being mocked. You are not being threatened. The, the dunce cap designed by Christelle. You can see the fireworks going off all nicely down there. There's some fireworks at the bottom. There again is where it came from and written on there is proof that it is parody. Um, I also want to go ahead and read you what this says specifically for the people uh, on low def or for those of you uh, that might be wondering what I'm talking about because the high def version just didn't post at all. Um, here it is. I'm going to read it to you. This is what they are getting in the mail, along with their dunce cap. Now, not anybody can, not just anybody can win this. You've got to be a true idiot. So here we go. The dunce cap of the month award. This document awards you with a level, level of utter stupidity that is beyond that of all others this July year of our Lord, 2013. Only you at Lakewood have managed to display not only a killjoy approach towards a national holiday, but you also did so while perfectly violating the Fourth Amendment at the same time by conducting bag and cooler searches. For those of you that might listen to Top 40, the Fourth Amendment makes it illegal to go through your private things. Um, not everyone I go on is aware of the danger posed by the many bombers lurking in tents Posted at festivals all over the nation, I mockingly wrote, but you in Lakewood had the lack of brain power that it takes to suspect it. 
most important, I write, knowing that most mad bombers tend to drink before attack, you wisely stopped all alcohol from being at the fourth party. You were even dumb enough to figure out that dogs and household pets are often the number one suspect in most terror-related attacks, and you ban them too. For all of this, you and Lakewood's leaders, you win the much revered, correct views, dunce cap of the month award. Thanks for making the world a more miserable place. I hope everybody shares this video and mocks you. No disrespect to my wonderful friends at the chamber. Good night, friends. God bless. You are listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. signing off. Make sure you donate to the show if you can. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. Also, look up the work of Kyle, Court, D. Lake, and myself at The Media Speaks. And lastly... Make sure you donate to uh, the Charity Connection. The person running that is a person who has done much to help charities in this area. And uh, Miss Mobley Christ herself, Dana Mobley Christ, now has lung cancer. So we're all banding together and we are donating at the Charity Connection. Good night, friends. God bless.